Hello everybody, I'm Anna Del Calagicoto, a financial educator. So we're still here in at step number four about debt management. Pero nasa part 3 na tayo. So dito sa part 3 na to, pag-uusapan natin how we can stop incurring debt para hindi. Paano ba natin na ma matigil yung madagdagan pa yung utang na meron tayo. So, ano ba yung willing na, na kaya mong gawin, no? What are you willing to do to stop incurring debt? So, ilista nyo tong tanong na to at evaluate nyo yung sarili nyo. Ulitin ko, what are you willing to do to stop incurring debt? You can't expect, guys. You can't expect, you can't not uh, expect to get out of debt until you stop incurring more debt. So, kung gusto nyo makawala talaga sa utang, kailangan nyo matutunan how to stop it, how to stop incurring debt. So, so there are two simple uh, steps to stop incurring debt. So, step one is building an emergency fund. So, dito sa step 1, you have to build an emergency fund until you have 3 to 6 months worth of expenses and use this money only when needed rather than using your credit card or rather than borrowing money. But remember to use it only for the actual emergencies and to budget for everything else so yung pinakaunang option or pinakaunang step in order for us to uh, stop incurring debt is to build an emergency fund so yan yung um, pag-uusapan natin sa pagkatapos tong debt management yung next naman in order for us to build a strong financial foundation is to have an emergency fund so dito sa Dito sa, 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 sa step 4 na about debt management, I mean, uh, na nabanggit na natin dito gaano kahalaga ang pagkakaroon ng emergency fund. Kasi this is one of the simple step to stop incurring debt is to build an emergency fund. So second step, dun sa nabanggit ko na two simple step to stop incurring debt is quit using credit cards and consumer loans. Iwasan na ang paggamit sa credit card kung wala kayong disiplina, you can't control yourself to spend money and sa or mag-swipe swipe kung ano man yung bagay na hindi niyo naman kailangan kung wala kayong disiplina sa paggamit ng credit card, better stop or quit using it and iwasan natin yung consumer loan no? ito yung installment basis na Kung meron tayong kukunin na furniture or kukunin na, kukunin na electronics or mga appliances na kung saan uh, installment siya, iwasan natin to. So, na, napag-usapan natin, nabanggit ko dito sa part 3 in about stop incurring debt. The two simple step to stop incurring debt is build an emergency fund quick using credit cards and consumer loans kasi guys you have to control your debts or your debts will control you it could control your life diminish your happiness and limit your freedom pag may utang ka okay guys itanggalin natin yung mindset natin na debt na debt is the only way to solve our financial uh, problems. I repeat na, or oh, I give you warning that debt is not a solution but an obstruction. You can never get out of debt if you continue to believe that debt will solve all your money problems. So, kaya nasabi ko, control your debts or debts will control you. So, in order to stop incurring debt, guys, you have to change the habit of spending to the habit of saving. Kasi sa panahon natin ngayon, no, um, kahit even, even well-educated, hard-working, good earning, uh, yung people, yung malalaki ang sahod, they still fall into heavy debt kasi they, they are uh, lack of financial education. Kaya napakahalaga na 
magkaroon tayo ng uh, financial education. So, financial education, sinasabi nga namin dito sa IMG, sa International Marketing Group, that uh, financial, financial literacy is not uh, only for rich people, is but for everyone or for everybody. Kasi kahit well-educated ka, kahit hardworking ka, kahit malaki yung, yung earnings mo, if your lack of financial education, you will fall into heavy debt. So guys, you have to stop re relying on consumer's debt and credit card. Sabi ni Jeffrey, Ho uh, Jeffrey R. Holland, kung in order also, suggestion in order to stop incurring debt para hindi na madagdagan yung utang na meron tayo, uh, Elder Jeffrey R. Holland suggested financial plastic surgery. This is a very painless operation. Just cut up, you know, just cut up your credit cards. Cutting up your credit cards will help you stop getting more debt. Thank you once again, guys. I hope in this uh, short uh, discussion sa part 3 ng debt management, we learned a lot again. Kung paano natin na, uh, ano ba, how can we stop incurring debt? So, there are only two, two simple uh, steps in order for us to stop it. To build an emergency fund. Quit uh, using credit cards and consumer's loan. If ever may tanong kayo guys, you can reach me here in my FB account. You can also message me in my FB uh, messenger. Uh, ito yung, yung profile name ko, Anadel Kalagi Kotov. And that's also my profile picture yung nakikita nyo dito sa picture na to. And you can also message me in my Gmail account, anadelkotov at gmail.com. And you can also message me in my WhatsApp account. So don't forget to subscribe again. Don't forget to subscribe in my channel. Kung bago ko pa lang sa channel ko, subscribe para ma-notify ka sa bagong uh, video na meron ako. And click the notification bell para ma-notify ka nga. And click mo na rin yung like button. Thank you for watching my uh, video, the third uh, part or yung part 3 ng debt management. I hope you learned a lot again guys. And don't forget to share this with your family or yung sino may kakilala nyo na may, uh, may utang. Share this uh, debt management na, na YouTube uh, discussion ko. And it will help them to manage their debt at magiging debt-free sila ngayong year 2021. So, always remember, sharing is caring. That's why here in IMG, we, uh, we educate, we share because we care. And we are sharing the knowledge, the financial um, education that everyone needs. Para sa ganun, ma-meet nila whatever their financial goals ngayong 2021. So, to learn more guys about or to increase more your knowledge about financial education, you can just message me here and be an IMG member. You will learn a lot and your life will change. Your financial status will change as long as you apply what you have learned sa financial education part ng IMG or International Marketing Group. Kaya bilang, bilang financial educator ng IMG, we try to educate uh, uh, everyone kasi yung campaign namin is to educate 30 million people until year 2030. So thank you and don't forget again to subscribe. Huwag niyong kalimutang click the subscription. Subscribe guys. I'll see you in my uh, last part of the debt management which is the part 4 about paying off debt. Didiscuss ko dun yung how you can pay off debt. Ano yung mga paraan. So thank you once again. I'll see you in my next videos. Bye. Bye bye bye.